We now have a massive Champions League tie coming up. There was Chelsea host Munch and Gladbach. Ball in to Fafana, smashes it in. Ball in now, Garcia gets the flick on, and yet yeah, Madueke does tap it in. He will go around the keeper and dig the last defender. Oh my God, Christopher Nkunku, what a goal. Chelsea needed those three points desperately and they do manage to get it. The group is looking a lot better though now as Barcelona did beat that other team. But we do play them next and we should be beating them. Right boys, so it is eight minutes past four. I have just uploaded the previous episode. Now starting to record the new one. And I've quickly looked at the comments, right? And someone has already answered the question of which centre mid I should recall. Destructo Donut for commenting so quickly, for being so passionate, so loyal, being there on the dot. I will choose your comment, my friend. David Gold will get recalled. And he will be the replacement for Conor Gallagher whilst he is injured. A 69 rated, got pretty good stats, I'll be honest. They're good stats then. But this is where it gets interesting, lad. 17 years of age, 6 foot 3, 192 pounds. He's a big bruiser in midfield. With five star skill moves and a four star weak foot. I'm Excited to see how this lad does, you know, really excited. But either way, big game against West Ham. Yeah, they're struggling, but they've done me a few times on career mode, so we've got to be careful of them. We're not going easy on them, no way. It's full strength. All the boys are playing. Let's get right into it. Madueke now with the ball. He will play the ball out to Reese James. Chelsea have a good chance here now. James will whip it in, and Levi Garcia just skims it wide. West Ham linking up now. But Barrier Shield always in the way of stuff like that. Madueke now loads of space once again. He'll play on Kuku through. Who's in? Gusted in the keeper. And it tips the top of the bar. Chelsea getting closer here. West Ham now going forward with Skamaka. Oh, but Barrier Shield is just an elite level defender. He's now driving forward. He does go to playing the ball zoom with a shrug off Nkunku though. Oh, but Ariola. Oh, ho, 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 ho. West Ham getting away with it here. West Ham are looking for all three points here though. They're going at Chelsea, playing quite well. Paquette is in a good bit of space, plays the ball now. Wesley Fafana is in the way. Chelsea are getting away with this though. They need to up this if they want to get something from this game. Played about between Nkunku and Garcia though. It's a great over the top now. It's hit and run from Chelsea. Garcia's in. West Ham were just up the other end. Garcia's now punished them. End to end stuff. And that is elite level football from Chelsea. Not much time left now though. West Ham are trying to go nick a point. Badia Shield though. We've got to be man of the match. Chelsea will be winning this game now. As West Ham just fought tooth and nail with them. It would have war that. Back and forth. End to end stuff. But Chelsea do come out on top. Oh yeah. Liverpool have officially dropped points. They could not beat Arsenal at the Emirates. So they aren't as invincible as I thought they would be. They still look very good though. That game where we go to Anfield. Oh my god. That's going to be difficult. The next game for us will be Brighton at home. They've managed to get seven points so far. Should be beating them. And the team will once again go completely unchanged. Levi Garcia. Out to Manuweke. Back into Garcia. Can't get his bearings though. Brighton trying to go forward now. Ooh, naughty little tackle from Caicedo. Badia Shield then stamps over him a little bit. He will get a yellow card though against his former club very early on. It won't stop him from battling though. Yeah, he's not scared at all, is Caicedo. He actually needs to be a bit careful here. Brighton with the ball now. It's a good ball, is in. He does shoot. Martinez does manage to save, though. Chelsea need to switch on here. Shoot well now. Gives it to Garcia. Lays it off to Sterling. He will shoot. It's a good save from Brighton. Corner ball now. It will get crossed in. And Badia Shield will win it. He'll come out on top. Gets a goal. This man is turning into something really special. And he runs off celebrating for 1-0. Caicedo now. Oh, a little bit of a kick out. He needs to be very careful on that yellow card. Brighton will come at Chelsea though, he finds the gap, it's a weak finish, it's a good job he can't connect properly with it, because if he does, that's 1-1 that right there, and Kunku now, Sterling's in loads of space, he will try pull it back, it's to the wrong player though, oh Moises Caicedo flying through him, he's been quality so far, but I will be taking him off, he's been good, but I can't risk him getting a second yellow, Enzo Fernandez will have to sit deep for now, and David Gold will come back on, Bit of a scuffle here. As the ball has landed to Garcia. We'll try one. Good save from the Brighton goalie. Chelsea have a corner though. Morris has got him practicing these all the time. Very good at him. It's on the money again for Garcia. Oh. Brighton wanting to get one back though. The Chelsea lads group up on him. 
But he does get past it. And then Emiliano Martinez saves the boys once again. How many times do I come out with that? Ooh, David Gold. He's got a bit of fight about him. I like that. The ball is down and it's smashed into the near post. It is 1-1. Brighton have deserved it. And Chelsea have not been good enough defensively. Oh, it's Gold again. Wins it back for Chelsea. This time they do manage to keep the ball. Nicholas Jackson now. Nice little pass, Garcia. There's your ball. Enzo Fernandez. Lovely little tapping. 2 1 Chelsea. Beautifully worked. And that ball was won back by Gold. A brilliant little tackle by Middle at Park. Brighton will not give in, though. They will still fight. Reese James sends him in a potty bag, though. <laughs> that will be that, though. Chelsea do pick up the victory. They work great today, though. Brighton looked quite good. They deserved a point, I'd say, at least. But they did not get it, and that's all that matters. The third and final game of the day will be against... I'm going to try to pronounce it. CFR Kluge? Kludge? God knows. <laughs> but anyways, they are above us in the table. They have three points. So do we. We need to be winning this. I'm going to give Mikhailo Mudrik a chance. I think he's been quite good coming off the bench. He deserves a bit of a go in. And I tell you what, Garcia will give him a rest. Nicholas Jackson will go up top. And then one more, actually. Levy Colwell. Sorry, Levi Colwell will go left centre-back for Barrier Shield. And you know what? Actually, no. Marlo Gusto, he deserves a game as well. I like him when he plays. And we will leave it as that for now. Come on, though boys we need three points here i don't want to leave it anything like last season where we had to get a winner in last game we're not doing that again mudrick now into jackson he will go for goal and he will get his goal nicholas jackson scores 1-0 chelsea we're only 18 minutes in but we look miles better than this team this should be a bit of a breeze right we're at half time and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna rest in kunku for the premier league game we'll bring on jacko we'll have jacko and jackson up top together david gold will also come in for enzo fernandez and cucurella will come on for ben chilwell and that will be that gold out to jacko now he'll give it to mudrick Little dink over. Flick on. Sterling smashes the post. Nearly Gold's first assist. But Sterling will recover the ball. Little shimmy. And never mind the first assist. There is the first goal. And I tell you what, lads. This guy looks good. Chelsea get the win, though. They were miles better than this team. Leagues above them. Champions League's looking on, definitely. If we're being optimistic, I'd like to do Barcelona at the bridge and try and get that top spot. The next game is a real biggie, though, as Chelsea will head to Villa Park. They are three points behind us in third place. It's a weird Premier League table, this. Man City are nowhere to be seen. They're down in 12th place. What on earth has happened there? I'm a little bit annoyed that they took a point off us now, but either way, Hey, lads, what a little fixture this is. Aston Villa are a bogey team of mine as well. I never beat them. They did me with it 2 0 in the last one. Gonzalo Ramos battered me all over. So we will see if I can get my revenge. <laughs>